Hello everyone, we are welcome once again into another interesting topic on this amazing learning platform. My name is Mr. Omar Godwin and today we'll be learning drug education. We'll be learning about drug education. We're going to get educated alongside um, fun while well, we have fun today and learn. Um, that's um, social studies, religion and national values. So we'll be taking the topic drugs education. I am ready and it promises to be loaded and inciting all the way. So let's start with the definitions of terms. What is drug? Drug is any substance, observe, any substance that causes a change in an organism, physiology or psychology when consumed. So whatever it is that we take into our body that causes change in our body, physiology and psychology, the way our body reacts, the way our body works, Physically, we can see the changes, uh, whatever changes that occur, whatever that led to that change is what we can call drugs. That's one definition. We have more. Um, a drug is a chemical, yep, which is given to people in order to treat or prevent an illness or disease. So we can also say that a drug is used to give people, to treat them, to prevent or cure disease. So it can be chemical, okay? That is given to people just to take to prevent illness occurring illness that is rampaging ravaging everywhere um to also heal or cure them from certain illness that they have another example for another word for drugs drugs can be substances that some people take because of their pleasant effects but usually are illegal now sometimes you take these drugs because of the what their pleasant effects yeah but but taking it for this reason defeats the purpose of the drug completely defeat the purpose of the drug we are taking drugs because of what pleasant effect you're going to get it is no longer the need and the use of the right use of the drugs so that purpose makes it what illegal all right now according to who you know who the world health organization yeah according to them they say drug is a chemical substance used in the treatment the cure, okay, the treatment, the cure, prevention or diagnosis of diseases or use to otherwise enhance physical or mental well-being. That is World Health Organization. So people, boys and girls, you've had a series of definition of drugs. So you cannot tell me now that you don't know what drug is. Drug is a substance that is taken to change the body physiology. Chemically, is a substance that we take to treat or get well according to World Health Organization. So we have a lot of definition on drugs. Pick whichever one you want and go straight with it. Now today, we'll look at the types of drugs that we have. We have stimulants, hmm. we have depressants, we have opium, you can call it painkillers, and we have hallucinogens. What do these mean? What do they mean? People, what do we mean by all these drugs? Sometimes you don't even know, maybe you've taken them. The name is quite strange. Yeah, but we're going to look what they represent. Stimulants. Stimulants are uh, enhanced. They are drugs that enhance the activity of the central and peripheral nervous system. Okay? The central and peripheral nervous system. The word stimulant, sometimes we use it as what? Uppers. Yeah. You can see here, stimulant is uppers. Why depressant is downers? Temporarily, temporarily, it only does this for work. It make you feel like you are you are high. It make you feel like okay, I am on top. I can do this now. I can. Do, that's what we call it uppers. It give you a false courage. It give you a false hope. You don't have courage, but hey, I'm going to take something to make me feel like I can do it. That is stimulant. It stimulates you. Now we call it uppers. All right. So you you, you begin to do things that you naturally don't have the courage to do. What are the effects of these drugs? When you take them, what happens? You sometimes have endurance, you have productivity, you have motivation. There are a lot of people in the entertainment industry. They take stimulants before they perform at a crowd. For example, say a crowd of one million people, five hundred thousand people. How are you going to talk? You don't know. You don't know fizzle out. You want to boil down. You want to chicken out. And they say, let me go and take something to make me feel I can do it. So you give them endurance, give them motivation. There is productivity, and sometimes there is this arousal that comes with it. You're going to have a heart rate, a blood pressure. It's going to diminish the desire for food and for sleep. So that means you can now work for hours. You can do things for longer time, longer period. Why? Because you have taken what we call stimulants. It gives you this 
false courage. It gives you this false idea that I can just move on. I am invisible. It gives you the power like I am a superhero. <laughs> but there are no superheroes anyway. Now, examples of stimulants. So you can know them. We have examples. Um, Aphetamines. One, we have cocaine and cracks. We have caffeine, nicotine and ecstasy. Wow. Boys and girls, don't get close to these guys. I circle. None of them are good for you. None of them. Nicotine, none of them. These are, most times they are banned substances. Because if you take them, it's going to give you false hope. You'll be thinking that you can do things that naturally you would not be, you won't have the power to do. Caffeine. You take a lot of caffeine. You take cocaine. If you don't, oh boy, I wish I could just see, but I'm going to pass it anyway to you across this medium, this platform. You don't have any business with cocaine, crack, caffeine, nicotine. They are very, very harmful to your body. They are stimulants. So we stay away from them at this early age of our life. Don't get involved. Don't get wrapped up with anybody doing these things. They are going to cause so much harm than good. Now we move forward to depressants. Like we said, stimulants is the uppers. Depressant is down. Depressants, depressant or central depressant is a drug that lowers. Look, it lowers. <laughs> it lowers the level, which is to depress or reduce arousal or stimulation in various areas of the brain. Now, um, it is important to know here that the present is opposite to stimulant. While stimulant is going to up you, the present is going to bring it down. So, it brings you down. For example, you're too hyper, you're very active, you want to calm down, you feel like you need to be calm. So, those people go into these depressant stuff. And the present are also occasionally referring to words as downers. As they lower the level of arousal when taking it. When you take them, oh, can you see this dull face? Look at this lady. Even when you whine and whine, she's not going to come up. This boy looks so dull and wow, I don't know what I can do. And oh, come on. Because you have taken the depressants. So you are feeling that way. Effects of depressants. You're going to have slow brain function. Hmm. Um, slow pulse and breathing. Lower blood pressure, poor concentration, you know, your, your, your brain function will not be normal. It's going to be slow, like backward. You don't want that. I know. I don't want that for you either. Um, so you're going to have lower blood pressure, all right? Um, slow pulse and breathing, poor concentration. You look focused. You lose focus. When you're in class, when you're doing what you, you, your attention span is no longer there. It's reduced to the minimum because of what's depressant. And also, it leads to confusion. Hmm. Fatigue, dizziness, slurred speech, you are not agile. That's what it means. You are not working like someone that is agile when you are taking depressants. So we run away from it. Examples of depressants. We have alcohol, mm -hmm. opioids, cannabis. Don't go near them. Alcohol is a very good example of depressants. Uh, barbiturates is also there. Benzodiapines is also there. Um, it's important boys and girls. I know sometimes we get close to these things, but please run away from them. It's going, do you, have you ever wonder why people, when they get drunk and they just sleep? It's because it's a depressant. Alcohol will make you feel depressed and you sleep. And guess what? Hey, a quick one for you. They say, oh, when you take it, you forget about your problem. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> when they do, when they, when they make them feel weak and they sleep, when they wake up, your problem still exists. So it's not a good option. It's not, a, it's not an example to run away from our problems. It's rather bad. So opium. Opium is a highly addictive narcotic drug acquired from opium poppy. Yep, yeah, this is opium poppy, the plant here. Opium was known as ancient Greek Roman physic physician as a powerful pain reliever. It was also used to induce sleep and to give relief. Sometimes they use this, they use this one to do what? To induce sleep and to give relief. Um, people that are feeling weak, they want to feel uh, sleep, they don't want to feel pain. So they take these drugs. But hello, there is no excuse for using these kinds of drugs. They have, why we're bringing this to you is that we should stay away from them. Effect of opium, it includes drowsiness. Mm. Example here, slurred speech. You don't even know what you're saying. Your speech are not clear. Confusion also is there. It's going to have memory loss. Mm. Poopy contraction, your eye, deleted of the blood, of the blood vessel. 
Wow, you don't want to have memory loss, do you? No, I don't want that for you either. I want your memory to be on top notch, on top gel. So when we have this drug, opium, these are the effects of opium. And once you stay away from it, hallucinogens. Hallucinogens are drugs that alter the user's thinking process and perception in a manner that leads to significant distortion of reality. This one just alter your thinking process. Hallucinogen. Have you heard of hallucination? You don't even know what you're thinking about. You're thinking abstract things that are out of the world. You just imagine what someone is thinking. What your voice is in the air. You are just you are no longer here with us. You have missed out on reality. Now, effects of this drug: it increases blood pressure, breathing rate or body temperature, loss of appetite. There's dry mouth. You have sleep problems. You can't sleep because of this. Um, there is also what we call spiritual experiences, you feel in or re, of on relaxation. So look at somebody relax on water. He, that's what he feels he is now. Your movement is distorted. <laughs> Uncoordinated movement. You're feeling so relaxed. Excessive sweating. Yeah, it's very bad also. So people, I hope you've learned a lot today. Stay away from drugs that are not good for our health, that's not promoting our body physically and um and physiolog uh, psychologically please always do know that we love you and want you to be safe and thank you for listening very much my name is mr omogobin still with me next time bye bye